Matthew 7.24, Therefore, Jesus uh, preaching here, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Now, it's a very familiar parable there of the wise man and the foolish man. The wise man building his house on a rock, symbolizing the word of God, symbolizing the word of God that does not change, that is truth. And then the foolish man building his house on sand, representing the shifting sands of men, the shifting sands of man's opinion. You know, do I think it's wrong or a sin for a church to have a Bible word name? No, I don't. So, you know, I'm not against, I'm not saying that every church must do what we do, otherwise they're in sin, because we're not commanded to name our church the church in Punchbowl. I mean, we can see how God refers to churches in the Bible as the church in a certain location, and we can use that precedent to say, well, this is why I do it, because that's the example I see in the Bible. But remember, one thing that, uh, you know, my pastor from my old church taught me, you know, a precedence is not a commandment. Just because you see something done in the Bible, that doesn't mean we're commanded to do it that way. I, I do think it's a good reason to do something if you see it done in the Bible that way. So I don't think it's a sin or it's wrong for a church to have a name that's not the church in whatever suburb or city then they're in at, they're in. But I do think, uh, you know, our church name can be backed up by the Bible. Um, but do I think it's wrong for preachers uh, to teach for doctrine the commandments of men? I do think it's wrong. If you insist that Christians keep a tradition of a church name um, that is not commanded in the Word of God, that's exactly what they're doing. They are teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And I am against that. I think that is wrong because we have liberty in Jesus Christ. Um, you know, and I have no doubt that many believers, you know, around the world probably have come to the same conclusion I have. They're probably asking the same question, you know, why, why, does, um, you know, why doesn't any church name themselves how we see it in the Bible? And, you know, it's funny because when I tell people what our church name is when we were starting the church, uh, and they said, oh, what are you going to name your church? And I said, well, I'm going to name it the church in Punchbowl. You know, the first thing that anyone who's familiar with the Bible says Ah, church in Punch, church in Sardis, church in Thyatira. So th they all they already know as well themselves without even explaining to them. Oh, that's how that's how we see it in the Bible. So it's no surprise to them when I say, well, we called it the church in Punchbowl because they know in the Bible that's how God refers to it. But isn't it funny how that nobody's doing it? This is what I thought was cool about our church name is that it's never been done. Nobody has ever called their church the church in just whatever city they are. Even though it's so obvious to anybody that believes the Bible, um, that's what God does. So I, I have no doubt that a lot of people have come to the same conclusions that I have. You know, are people going to criticize it? You know, they are. You know, are people going to not like it? You know, probably not. Oh, probably yes. You know, are people going to take a while to get used to it? I think so as well. People are going to. I mean, even me. You know, it takes me a while. Even you guys probably. You're probably not even used to saying you go to the church in Punchbowl and, and using that name. But, you know, no man having drunk old wine straightway desireth you. If you remember the first sermon I preached. No man having drunk old wine straightway desireth you. So even though we don't desire the new wine, it doesn't mean that we keep drinking the old wine. But um, I just wanted to end there because, you know, even though people might criticize it, people might not like it, in my own heart, I feel like I at least have a reason for why the church name is what it is and that it's based on the Word of God. You know, the wise man built his house upon the Word of God, upon the rock, and the foolish man built his house upon the sand, on man's opinion. And you know, that's what I'm striving to do in every area of life, is build my house upon the rock.